So, so this is a uh, Sony PlayStation 1 or PS1 board. Um, it's actually a complete system that I bought at a garage sale for $5, not working. And uh, it, it actually powers up, um, but it's kind of interesting the problem. So I switch it on. And uh, the TV, of course, has no signal. And um, so I'm like, okay. So I attach the oscilloscope and they actually have a bunch of uh, test pins along here for the video. And I saw a signal, but I, I'm not a composite video expert, um, so I'm not sure if it was high enough. And it's my guess is that it's not quite good enough. Um, it just so happens that I have a, uh, a CRT, it still works really well. And um, I thought, well, CRTs are generally a little bit more tolerant of the signal that comes in versus an LCD screen. So let's try that out. So, CRT is on. Let me switch this guy on. And I get a picture, but it's a glitchy mess. Like the trips the brains. Yeah, it's just kind of it's not the vertical hold either. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's wrong. I did you know just looking at the board itself, I did notice all these caps on the top here look a little bit puffier than their counterparts. Um, problem is, is that they're surface mounted and I have to pull them out of circuit to test them, which I'm going to do. Um, I'm wondering if that's actually maybe the cause, is that the signal is just a little low on the output. So I've got the PlayStation 1 uh, sitting on top of the monitor here with the scope and I believe this is the composite video picture. I can, I can see a signal there. And it's averaging 1.1 volts peak to peak, 1.3 volts peak to peak. Uh, pretty jumbled picture though. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on, so I might, I might just go on the net and see what I can find on how to repair this. I have a feeling that it's, um, that the video chips are fine, it's just one of the supporting components that's uh, um, not working properly. Um, I did. I did uh, find that there's a whole bunch of fuses on the board. And I've tested all those. Those all actually work. Um, just this video issue. So I replaced uh, these three caps right here, and I know it doesn't look absolutely perfect. I'm not really great at surface mounted component work, but um, let's see if it works. So. I uh, thought I'd hook the probe up to it to see what the difference in the signal is, just to for fun. You know, it didn't looked okay on the scope, but it didn't work okay. Uh, let me switch this guy on. Is it ready? a lot better. How much pin is it? There's the pin. 1.8. 1.8 volts peak to peak and previously it was 1.2. So yeah, voltage was low on the video output. Now it's just fine. So I put the uh, cover back on it and I thought oh, I should probably test it and see if it actually works on the LCD TV because uh, you know, the tolerances are a bit tighter on the LCD screen than the CRT, so let's try that out. So, let's see. And I got a picture. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, PlayStation games. I thought maybe I could pop a CD in there. I don't have a controller either, actually. So maybe it'll just automatically work.
it looks like I have to have a controller to actually play the disc, but it, it recognizes, so my guess is that probably the disc actually probably does work. So. Thanks for watching, take care.